This is the Evolution R185CC SL. This is a circular saw which will cut wood, metal or plastic all with the supplied blade. You can pick one of these up for about £60. It weighs in at 4.2 kilograms and when you buy it you actually get a fence with it and you also get a dust port adapter for the back which means that you can fit quite a few different vacuum cleaner hoses to the end of it. That will help with dust extraction if you are cutting wood or plastic. It actually comes with a three meter flex, so the flex is plenty long enough. In the past, Evolution have made some tools that have had rather short flexes on and that has been a bit of a problem, but three meters is perfectly adequate. This saw actually has a steel base plate and the other components on it are aluminium and there is some plastic. It does have a very comfortable handle there at the front if you're using it with two hands. This saw actually has replaceable brushes so that is always a bonus because you can change the brushes and keep the saw working for a very long time. There are a lot of makes of circular saw, you can get DeWalt, Makita, Bosch etc. They are considerably more money than a machine like this. Obviously there is a, a huge price difference between the brands but if you just need a general purpose saw that's going to cut wood metal and plastic without changing the blade this is absolutely ideal. I do have to point out that this saw is not actually compatible with the track system. If you want one that will fit on a track you will have to buy another model. This is just like some of the other Evolution circular saws and there are quite a lot in the range now and it can be confusing which one to get. Uh, some of them are compatible with tracks, some of them aren't. This is just a general purpose saw and this one is not compatible with the track system but it is a very good saw for the money. As with most circular saws it has a guard which is sprung. On the back there we have the dust extraction for if you are cutting wood or plastic. To adjust the depth of cut we simply need to flick up that lever at the back there. You can then adjust the depth of cut. You can then lock the lever back down. So that's a useful feature that is common on a lot of circular saws. We then turn it round. We've then got a place for the Allen key or the hex key that is needed to change the blade. It's always a good idea to have one of those and if it is captive on the saw itself it is very useful. On the top there we've got a spindle lock, so that actually locks the spindle and enables you to change the blade. Obviously if you are changing the blade you need to make sure that the saw is unplugged. So if you press down on that button it actually locks the blade and the spindle. You can then bevel the saw from 0 to 45 degrees by unlocking that lever. That then enables you to set your bevel angle. And with the saw you also get the fence. Simply undo that screw there and push that in. I do have to say that this is not the lightest saw in the world, weighing in at 4.2 kilograms, but it is a very durable saw and it is very powerful. It does have a 1200 watt motor and it will power its way through wood, metal, or plastic. This has a maximum depth of cut of 64 millimeters. If you put it on a 45 degree angle, that is reduced down to 43 millimeters. The beauty of these saws is that you can cut mild steel up to three millimeters thick using the same blade. It also has a safety trigger, so you can't accidentally squeeze the trigger in. You need to press that part in first with your thumb before you can press the trigger. One really good advantage of this saw is that it does have an electronic brake so as soon as you pull your finger off the trigger it actually stops within a couple of seconds. The thing with Evolution tools is that they aren't expensive and they are always trying to improve them. If you actually read the reviews of this saw online, especially if you go on Screwfix, you'll see that this saw gets very positive reviews.
when I'm cutting through the wood, the plastic and the metal, I am actually going to reduce the volume of the video. I do actually have the vacuum cleaner running as well as the circular saw and it is quite noisy. And when you cut through the metal that is really noisy so I will reduce the volume. You can see that that's giving us a perfect cut in the 3 quarter inch external plywood. You often get old pieces of timber which have embedded nails in. This saw can cut through the nails absolutely no problem at all. If you find these types of videos useful you can do me a massive favour by liking the video, commenting on the video and if possible sharing the video because that really helps me out. We've then got a piece of 12mm thick acrylic. This is a piece of 6mm thick aluminium checker plate. I do have to say that when you're cutting through any metal with this saw it is a good idea to wear some really good quality ear defenders and also a full face visor. As you can see that's done a great job on the 6mm thick aluminium checker plate. And the piece of 3mm mild steel has got a very clean cut. It's cool to the touch and there is minimal burrs, just a tiny burr on the end there. So that's the Evolution R185CC SL. At about £60 it is an absolute bargain. I'm sure that you'll get many years of use from a saw like that.